Hello, my name is Eldar. Uh, I'm a Norwegian teacher and music educator. I work quite a lot with iPads in music education. And every once in a while I get a question about how we connect the different uh, devices to the speakers or amplifying system. Uh, so I thought I'd show you. My first choice would be using a Jam Hub. Visit jamhub.com to see more about it. Uh, my school cannot afford it, so unfortunately I have to deal with other equipments. Uh, what I'm using is things I already have in my music room, so I'll show you. Now, out from the iPad is naturally the standard mini jack. And you can also see that uh, my, the iPads are uh, labeled. This one is number five. I strongly recommend to label the cables too. Uh, there will always be a student disconnecting the iPad, picking up the wrong cable and connecting again. Then suddenly you don't know which iPad is where at the mixer. Now, my second recommendation would be using long cables. Uh, it's much easier to play together if you don't have to sit on top of the speakers. So, this is not too long, but it's white. In the other end, we have the red and white, and we'll connect this to, to the mixer. Let's have a look. So, this is the mixer I'm using. Now, really, you can do very well with a smaller mixer. It all depends on how many devices you need to connect uh, at once. This one has uh, eight mono channels and two stereo channels and uh, a few line inputs. Now, in my situation, the most inexpensive equipment would be using uh, a cable from the iPad to the line input, which is a 6.35 millimeter jack. The RCA cable is not jack so I need this adapter here and with the adapter attached I just plug it in now I'm sure you can get cables uh, uh, with the right connection so you don't need the adapter but uh, it's more expensive at least here it is the apps that I'm using for iPad orchestra or playing together with other instruments uh, does fine with, uh, with mono, we don't need stereo for this. So each uh, iPad only needs one channel on the mixer. This means that we have quite a lot of iPads that connect to this mixer. One iPad to each of the mono channels. We can have two iPads on the stereo channels and also on the line inputs we can have two iPads per channel. This means that on this mixer I may actually connect uh, 18 iPads, which is more than I usually use for an iPad orchestra. All the equalizer knobs are, are at uh, 12 o'clock, and I turn off all um, effects. Usually we don't need any other effects than uh, the apps provide. It's also a good idea to do, to do some panning. Monitoring is a, a challenge using this uh, method. We have found a solution. It's not very professional, but it works. We use a split into the iPad and one cable to the mixer and the other one to uh, headsets. It's okay. It's inexpensive and it works fairly well. Next challenge is that they need to hear not only themselves, but also the other iPads. So the students have found a solution to this too. Uh, they put the headphones on one ear. They feel kind of professional looking this way. I'm not quite sure about that, but never mind. Now, on the other hand, I always try to emphasize that with, as with all other musical instruments, the iPad is at its best together with other instruments. iPad orchestra is fine, but in my opinion, the gold is in the combinations. So that's basically it. Uh, Helga in Singapore or anyone else, I hope I answered your question. If not, please stay in touch.